I really have a problem with the Democrats, and let me tell you why. Just for the record, I am not a Republican or Democrat for all of those that don't know that. But let me tell you, the fact that um, they use the same tactics, but in a different way. They use the same tropes when it comes to black people and stereotypes, but they use it to try to think that they're appealing to us as a people. That's a very that's very much an insult. They don't do that to any other group. They don't basically appeal to them with with these little tropes and trinkets that they think um, will get our attention. They don't appear uh, appeal to them with base um Ideas like get your booty to the pole and stuff like that. They don't appeal to them with with, with just stupid stereotypes and, and, and just tropes. Oh, yeah. All, all, you know, rap music and, and like, oh, yeah. You know, like you cooking greens is going to get our vote. Who gives a care about that? We don't care about that. We care about policies. You, I mean, shoot. If you were really down for us, Kamala you would you would actually be listening to the black street the black grassroots we don't care about your collard greens we don't care about you listening to hip hop you don't appeal to anybody else like a like i'm sorry you don't appeal to anybody else like that but us and barack obama is really funny too yeah after you did what you did with us nothing and then Basically, you will yourself around every few years to try to get us to vote for the party that you represent it when you signed a blue light law that was not in favor of us. When things happened on your watch that was definitely not in favor of us, plus your anti reparations, and both of them are. And it's the reason that the Democrats are falling out of favor. Black people are an intelligent people. We ask that you approach us that way. We've asked for things that you're not um, promising. You're not for. You're you're blatantly against. And so why should we even vote for you then? It's funny. This is one of the tropes that I can't stand. Like basically black men are the most misogynistic. I, I was cracking up because, yeah, they willed Obama out to do that, 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 finger pointing at black men. First of all, nobody's listening to you, dude. You've already lost credibility with us. You're illegitimate at this point. Um, not only that, the fact that you're saying, you're, you're putting out a narrative that's not true just shows how disingenuous and deceitful you are. The reason that black men and also black women are not voting for Kamala is because of her policies and that, and that, she refuses to bend an ear to us. And her writing that phony, whatever it was, that toilet paper, um, doesn't do anything. Because everything is an other, you know, when, when mentioning black people, black people and others. We're not stupid. They're going to find that out on election day to see how, how they, they didn't learn the first time. They didn't learn the first time with Hillary. They're going to learn again if they don't do right by us. The fact that they're, they, they, they use the same tropes that, you know, white supremacists are pretty much using against black men, let alone black people. It's really disgusting. They don't appeal to anyone else like that. They don't appeal to us as um, the same way that they appeal to everybody else. Everyone else, it's all serious talk and all, you know, tangibles for them not not black not black americans not foundational black americans the reason that i'm not voting for kamala is because she is not she does not have anything for us specifically and a lot of men black men and black women feel the same way so for them to even try to like make us the boogeyman like that the sexist boogeyman that's not cool dude Obama, you're horrible. Kamala Harris, you're horrible for that. Voting for a woman? That's not the reason. There's women that I could think of that, that I would vote for over Kamala Harris. How dare you put that stereotype on us, man? 
yeah, it's all disingenuous and it's just them basically trying to throw crap at us and seeing what sticks against the wall. Obama should be looking down at his freaking feet because of that BS that he spewed at us. Trying to use a black scent and all that. We don't all talk like that, dude. Y'all, man, kick rocks, bro. Seriously. You know, I, my thing is this, dude. I, I agree with all the voices that I've heard saying that we need to get something for our vote. I'm still pissed at what happened with the whole reparations thing, too, which the, the Democratic Party was behind. So they're not going to be faring in the best unless they do right by us. And, and doing tropes like this isn't making it even better for them. It, it, I'm sorry, isn't making it any better for them. They just, they're just hard-headed. They ain't learning the lesson right now. Looks like they're going to be learning the hard way on, in, in, in November. Anyways, I hope you guys understand. Sorry, sometimes I get a bit scattered because my thoughts, yeah, they're, I'm pretty pretty passionate about certain things. But yeah, um, Obama has, you're illegitimate. Kamala, you're illegitimate. I don't like liars and I don't like people that throw stereotypes and try to appeal to us as if we're not an intelligent group. So unless you do right by us, you're not going to win. And this doesn't mean that I'm voting for the Republicans either because I see them the same way. It's going to all crash and burn, really, unless they do right by us. And hey, we told you, they don't want to listen to us. They don't want to hear our voice. They don't want to hear what, we, what, we, what we're saying. It's been loud and clear. There's no way that, they, that, that, that it hasn't been. Anyway, you guys, you know, if my video comes off a little... Whatever, you know, I might do it over, whatever. but yeah, I'm just speaking from where I'm coming from. Just the blatant disrespect from the Democratic Party is not what's talked about. The Republicans are obvious, but the Democrats need to be called out on their madness, too. I'm just tired of it. I'm not a freaking sexist because I don't want to vote for something. I don't want to vote for someone that's not going to do anything for me or my people. Now, if that's sexist, I don't know. I mean, that's that's a ridiculous definition for that it has nothing to do with that it has everything to do with you know preserving what's right and what needs to be done which they're not doing anyway i'm gonna leave you guys have a good one peace